Unit 1 Periodicity of Elements and Their Properties Lesson 2 Graduation of Elements in the Modern Periodic Table In this lesson, we will study the graduation of some properties of the elements and periods and the groups A in the periodic table and the relation between these properties and the electronic configuration of elements such as atomic size, electronegativity, metallic and non-metallic properties. Number 1. The atomic size property. Atomic size is measured by atomic radius by measuring unit picometer. It is part of million of the million part of a meter. In periods, by increasing the atomic number from left to right, the atomic size decreases due to the increase of the attraction force between the positive nucleus and the outermost electrons. The atomic size for elements of same period is inversely proportional to the atomic number. In groups, by increasing the atomic number from up to down, the atomic size increases due to the increase of the number of energy levels occupied by electrons. The atomic size for the elements of the same group is directly proportional to the atomic number. For example, the atomic size of lithium Li3 is greater than that of beryllium Be4 and smaller than that of sodium Na11. Can you explain? The atomic size increases, number of energy levels increases, the atomic size decreases. That means the attraction force increases. Number two, the electronegativity property. It is the ability of the atom in covalent molecule to attract the electrons of the chemical bond towards itself. In periods, by increasing the atomic number from left to right, the electronegativity increases. That means the electronegativity for the elements of the same period is directly proportional to the atomic number. In groups, by increasing the atomic number from up to down, the electronegativity decreases. That means the electronegativity for the element of the same group is inversely proportional to the atomic number. Elements of group 7A have the highest electronegativity. The highest value of electronegativity in fluorine equal 4. The difference in electronegativity between elements forming compound molecules determined the kind of bond between elements, ionic or covalent bond. The difference in electronegativity between elements forming covalent molecules measures the polarity of the compounds, polar compound and non-polar compounds. The polar compound is a covalent compound and the electronegativity difference between its elements is relatively high like H2O and NH3. Example, in water molecule H2O, the ability of oxygen atom to attract the two electrons 
of covalent bond towards it is greater than the hydrogen because the electronegativity of oxygen equal 3.5 is greater than that of hydrogen 2.1 and the difference equal 1.4 so it is a polar covalent compound the metallic and the non-metallic property the elements divided into metals, non-metals, semi-metals or metalloids, inert gas metals, they are elements which have less than 4 electrons in their outermost energy level non-metals, they are the elements which have more than 4 electrons in their outermost energy levels Semi-metals, they are the elements which have the properties of both metals and non-metals. Inert gases, they are elements which have a complete outermost energy level. The period starts with strong metal, which atomic number increase metallic property decrease until we reach the semi metals then atomic number increasing non metallic property increasing to till group 7a in the group atomic number increase metallic property increase due to increasing of atom size atomic number increase Non-metallic property decrease due to decreasing of electronegativity. The metallic property is directly proportional to atomic number. And the non-metallic property is inversely proportional to atomic number. During the chemical reactions, metals, atoms of metallic elements tend to lose their outermost electrons and change into positive ions, called cation. Positive ions carry number of positive charges equal number of lost electrons. The electronic structure of positive ion is similar to that of nearest preceding energy gas in periodic table. Example, sodium Na11 its electronic configuration 2A1 it becomes Na positive 280 it is similar to a neon Ne1028 non-metals atoms of non-metallic elements tend to gain their outermost electrons and change into negative ions called anion Negative ions carry number of negative charges equal to number of gained electrons. The electronic structure of negative ion is similar to that of nearest following inert gas in periodic table. Example, chlorine Cl17, its electronic configuration 2A7, it becomes chlorine minus 2A8. It is similar to argon AR18288. During the chemical reaction, atoms of elements tend to complete their outermost energy levels with 8 electrons to reach the stable state. This is done through number 1. Losing electrons in case of metal atoms. Number 2. Gaining electrons in case of non-metal atoms. During the chemical reaction, four metalloids or semi-metallic elements. They are the elements which have the properties of both metals and non-metals. It is difficult to know the metalloids from their outermost electrons due to the difference of number of electrons in their valences shell example boron B5 it have 3 
electrons in outermost energy level. Silicon Si14 it has four electrons in the outermost energy level. The conclusion by increasing the atomic number atomic size increases metallic property increases electronegativity decreases non-metallic property decreases atomic size decreases metallic property decreases electronegativity increases non-metallic property increases The chemical properties of metal Number 1. React with diluted acids forming salt of acid and H2 Number 2. React with oxygen forming metallic oxide or basic oxides Number 3. Basic oxides dissolve in H2O forming alkalis Chemical activity series it is the standing arrangement of metals according to chemical activity. Substances and used tools Two test tubes, magnesium strip, dilute hydrochloric acid, a small piece of cover. Steps Put a part of magnesium strip in a test tube and add some dilute hydrochloric acid HCl. Number two, repeat the previous step with copper instead of magnesium. Observation Number one, a gas evolves with bubbles. Number two, no gas evolves. Conclusion Some active metals such as a magnesium Mg and zinc that N react with dilute acids as hydrochloric acid giving salt of acid and hydrogen gas is evolved like in the equation Mg plus 2 HCl diluted it gives us MgCl2 plus H2 evolved in active metals such as a copper Cu don't react with dilute acids and no gas evolves Activity number two Substances and used tools Magnesium strip Thin wire of iron A jar filled with oxygen Water Steps Ignite one end of a magnesium strip until it burns Then put it inside a jar filled with oxygen gas Observation Magnesium strip burns with a bright light And a substance magnesium oxide is formed Number two, add some water to the produced substance, magnesium oxide. Then add drops of violet litmus solution. Observation, magnesium oxide dissolves in water. The litmus solution turns into blue. Number three, repeat the previous step by using a wire of iron. Iron oxide doesn't dissolve in water. Conclusion Some metals such as a magnesium and iron react with oxygen giving metal oxides which are called basic oxides Basic oxides, they are metallic oxides some of them dissolve in water forming alkaline solution 2Mg plus O2 in presence of heat it gives us 2MgO MgO plus H2O it gives us MgOH by 2 Metals are arranged descendingly according to their chemical activity known as chemical activity series The chemical activity of metals with water is different according to their position in series as shown in the table Potassium and sodium react instantly with water and H2 
evolves which burn with a pop sound. Calcium and magnesium react very slowly with cold water. Zinc and iron react in high temperature with water vapor only. Copper and silver don't react with water. Life application Cleaning silver tools Place the silver tools in a bowl covered with aluminum foil and then fill it with boiling water. Then add 3 tablespoons of baking powder and leave it for 15 minutes. And then drain after rinse with boiling water and dry with a piece of wool to become brighter. The chemical properties of non-metals Number 1. Don't react with acids Number 2. React with oxygen forming non-metal oxides or acidic oxides Number 3. Non-metal oxides dissolve in H2O forming acids Activity number 1 Substances and used tools are A piece of coal or carbon Two test tubes, a piece of sulfur, dilute hydrochloric acid. Steps Put a piece of coal or carbon in a test tube and a piece of sulfur in another test tube. Number two, add some dilute HCl to H tube. Observation No reaction takes place. Conclusion Non metals such as carbon and sulfur. Don't react with dilute acid such as HCl. Activity number two. Burn a piece of coal in a burning spoon and put it after complete burning in a cylinder full of oxygen. Number two. Add some water to the cylinder and drops of violet litmus solution. Observation. The glowing increases. The solution turns into Red. Conclusion Non metals such as carbon react with oxygen giving non metal oxides, which are known as acidic oxides. So the acidic oxides are non metallic oxides which dissolve in water forming acidic solutions. Carbon plus oxygen in presence of heat. It gives us carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide CO2 plus H2O. It gives us H2CO3, carbonic acid.